this video, I'm going to show you guys how to mount your Scotty downrigger with the gimbal mount. And this is the Scotty 1050 with the brake and the counter and the rear. Uh, I picked it up for like 140 bucks online. This is like 60 bucks. It's a little bit of extra stuff you'll need. Some little mounts right here so you can secure it to your kayak. Some tape. Some metal plates. Remounting that. And also, we're gonna try some of these rubber leg tips. And this will be a nice setup. You'll be able to put it in your right or left. A couple bungee cords. And that's pretty much it. First, you want to shave this part off. It's a little too long. I'll shave this part off right here. Right there. Like that. Close to three inches. Okay. Bring that up like that. Same like that. A little mock trial. Let's see if it does keep it kind of loose in there. You guys can see that. pretty sturdy and then my second option will be using the milk crate and I'll have a part two if uh, we end up going this uh, route but I just want to show you everything I go through so this is my ideal and then you take it out put it on the floor like that just put it back in just put it on this as support so just Protect the bottom, it's kind of sharp, so get some small strips. See, it's not shaking at all. Got that from Home Depot for a couple bucks. And I imagine I'm gonna make a bracket for it, but you can see how helpful these would be on securing. I mean, these aren't going nowhere. I mean, if you were able to flip your kayak or anything, I mean, these would be secure. You can put on some locks like this. And just pop it on there if you want it. I mean, the choices are endless. Technically, you only really need one of these to secure it to your kayak. I mean, it's. Ball. Just 
one string underneath right here. Padlock there. And padlock right there. And this baby not going nowhere. And if I were to flip off. Thank you. 